Hey guys, if you're not following this series directly, feel free to skip right over this episode. But the point of this episode is to go over all the updates and fixes related to the 5.1 update, specifically related to everything that we've done in the series thus so far. So case in point, let's get to it. So to jump right in, the single most impactful change for 5.1 is Nanite Foliage. And I'm sure there's a way to do this programmatically, but I'm not that smart. And so I literally went into every single Foliage Mesh asset and within the static mesh, I just had to check off Enable Nanite Support and also this Preserve Area checkbox and Apply Changes. And then once you do that, go ahead and save. And it took me about an hour to do that for every single mesh, but you do that once, you save your whole project, you're done. So the end result of this for me actually wasn't that big of a performance impact until I disabled hardware ray tracing. So back in episode 22, the Niagara Collision tutorial episode, we enabled hardware ray tracing. And the way we did that was under project settings. And if I search here for hardware ray tracing, so these two check boxes. And if you have these checked, I actually recommend disabling these now that we have Nanite foliage. And I don't know the technical reasons for this, but when I was playing with AI and we're going to get into AI in the next few episodes, the performance of what I was doing with the AI was much better if I didn't have support hardware ray tracing checked. I have a feeling it has to do with static versus dynamic lighting. And with an AI character, especially a high performance one like MetaHuman, I suspect both of these are really performance intensive. So I'm going to uncheck both of these. And then when we do that, I know you can't see it in the bottom right hand corner, but we have to restart now. So the next thing is related to the AI character that we started last episode with MetaHuman. And so for that, I'm going to go into my adversary AI character. And I talked about this briefly in the last episode with MetaHuman, but in our enable master pose function, just make sure that your adversary AI character can actually compile because I found that this enable master pose function needs to be updated for it to compile in 5.1. Now I'm sure that Unreal Engine will do this automatically soon enough for 5.1. So if yours doesn't match this and it's compiling just fine, don't worry about it, leave it as is. So on to the next problem. And this is what you saw in the intro. This is our fireball explosion. So for this, whenever I boot up my project, I actually get some warnings saying M fire sub material is missing the usage flag be used with Niagara sprites. But whenever I went into the material, if I go into that, it's got the usage flag just fine. So I assume this is probably a bug. And I also found that coming over here on the right and hitting fix for each of these really didn't do anything. But the issue is not with the fire, the issue is with the explosion. But if you run into this issue with other Niagara particles, then you'll know what to do. So what I ended up doing to fix the explosions is that I had to take under content starter content particles materials this m explosion sub uv and i just duplicated it duplicate uv1 and the same thing with this burst duplicate this m burst and then go into each of those and just hit save and i have no idea why this works same with the sub uv1 just hit save so we're not changing it in the slightest we're just hitting save and then if you go back into the niagara system that's making the explosions so for that that's under content niagara impact effects fire explosion base explosion with up so what we have to do is we have to switch out the two sprites here so the first shock wave here switch m burst with m burst one and the fireball here go under the sprite render and explosion sub uv to sub uv one i found that i could actually fix this issue just by recompiling the original material but the problem was that every time i booted up the engine it would be broken again so i'd have to do it over and over and over again it was only by creating a duplicate material that it actually fixed the issue so if anyone has any other ideas, please let me know in the comments below. But that did do it. So we're going to save the explosion base. I'm going to go into the explosion with UP and we'll do the same exact thing here. So M burst over to M burst one fireball sprite render over to M explosion sub UV one. Save that and let's give it a whirl. So there we go, working just fine. So that wraps up this really quick 5.1 update, guys. If you experience other issues on the project, if you're following the series and you experience other issues upgrading to 5.1, please post in the comments below. And you can also join the Discord. We meet every Friday, 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.